Hello there. Our brush tonight is my brush guy, Matthew Martin brush guy, brush in copper. Beautiful, beautiful brush. And tonight's soap is Mountain Retreat by Vanillet. And it's a wonderful woodsy, mountain woodsy kind of scent. Uh, Vanilla describes it as a cozy vanilla. Vanilla describes it as a cozy flannel. Uh, cozy as it gets, they say. We have added a woodsy cabin flannel fragrance to give you warmth of a on a cold day, infused with warm, smoky sandalwood, birch, fern, balsamic, amber, background, and cardamom. And it's supposed to, uh, from my understanding, kind of give you the feeling of, of being in a nice, warm cabin in the winter time, perhaps a hunting hunting lodge or or something like that. And it's lovely. It's it's a wonderful woodsy kind of scent. Uh, and the sandalwood, I can I get I get things like the sandalwood and and the balsamic, and I get that balsamic amber and uh, the birch, and it's just and there is if you uh, she, she mentions a flannel scent, and you kind of have to be looking for it. But I can picture that in the scent. It just, I don't know what a flannel scent is or what scent she used to uh, emulate that. Uh, but they're coming up with all kinds of different types of fragrances for people to use and, and perfumes and stuff like that. So she says it's a, a flannel scent that's in there. So, you know, I'll go with her because I know that uh, she, in my opinion, is a master at uh, scents and this is just a lovely uh, high mountain woodsy kind of uh, scent that's out of this world that's good so uh, we're gonna go ahead and move down and get the shade going Okay, I need to back the magnification back a bit for this. All right, I'm going to take my brush out. I'm going to take some of this. And just... Press it down into the scuttle. You rinse my hands out. Need a little more water. Whoa, that's more than enough right there, should be. I'm not worrying about it too much. Uh, Vanillet has a, a tendency to handle water really well. I just feel like I, maybe the brush soaked up some of that soap because it just disappeared and I can't find it in the bowl anymore. I uh, don't know what that's operator error. It's in there somewhere. I got to try to get it out. If not, I'll just add a little more. That's the kind of stuff you run into sometimes with uh, using a sample as opposed to loading. I've spoken about it before. 
a little more water and see what that does. As opposed to loading it out of a, a container. And it's stuff that you've got to kind of be ready for. And yeah, I'm just going to add a, a small amount more of the soap because I don't know where it went. But it disappeared awful fast. There we go. Don't know what happened, but that piece, as you can see, is staying. I don't know if you can see it because of the lighting, but it's staying. And I'm now getting the ladder off of it. So, whatever. Actually, you need to go down into the bottom of the bowl a little more. Lovely. And there it comes. But yeah, uh, you're not loading, and there's there's some of that soap that was stuck in the brush. So, but you're not loading when you're doing this. You're not loading from a you're not loading a brush. You're building lather in the bowl from soap that's already in the bowl, and it's a whole different ball game. Uh, that's why, you know, I've, I've uh, tested for a few soapers, and they always want to ask you, how well did the brush load? Well, the brush didn't load. It, 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 I always just tell them it lathered really easily, or it didn't lather easily, but the brush didn't load. Uh, there's no container there to load from. Uh, so... The brush did not load. So you're wasting your time asking that question because it's a whole different kind of thing. Similarly, let me come on back up here. Sometimes new people, people that haven't tested before and don't understand will have trouble loading a brush or creating a lather like that and they'll blame the soap when it's it's nothing to do with the soap it's the circumstance in which you are in and the way that you're building lather in that bowl and it's different You have to take that into account because it definitely is different. But that, it's a lovely lather. All right, let me, actually I should have done that before I rinse my fingers, but let's try that. Tonight's razor is my gold dollar 208. Lovely. My gold dollars are. I tend to uh, use them to try different honing techniques. Because they don't cost very much. My battery's dying. Stand by. I forgot to plug it in. <laughs> All right. Now that'll fix her up. This is an 
back and sorted. And it's lovely. I went from a 1K diamond plate to an Arkansas soft to a black. And I think that uh, I'll be going to a cuticle or my showroom next time. The scent on this soap. The strength of it stays about the same from the container, from the bowl to the face, but it changes a bit. Uh, I really do, once you lather it, once you put some hot water in it and lather it, I really am getting, I don't know where it comes from. Like I said, I'm not sure what scent she would use for that. Unless there is an actual flannel scent. And like I said, there certainly could be. Uh, but more and more I'm getting that. That hint of flannelness, <laughs> I guess you'd call it. That brush is just, oh man, I love that knot. Beautiful. Wonderful. That's lovely. This definitely is a masculine scent. In my opinion. Typical Typical excellent Vanulay performance. Wonderfully close, smooth shave in two passes. We'll do a cold water rinse. Beautiful. 
And if you really want to know how close your shave was, after you get done, get your face wet and then start doing this. And you'll find out really quick how close that shave was. Lovely. All right. We're going to use Aqua Velva Musk because it too is quite a manly scent to me. It's robust and strong. And the musk goes really well with the, the woodsy type scent, I think, anyway. Oh, God, that's good. And I love it, too. <laughs> so, all right. God bless you. Thanks for joining me. Uh, that's been Vanuelle Mountain Retreat uh, on an Arkansas edge on my gold dollar 208. Fantastic shave. And I'll talk to you later.